Go on strike. You're not getting paid, so you shouldn't have to pay your rent. That's all I'm saying. What's up, YouTube? I'm AJ. <laughs> this video is about rent strike. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing with this whole YouTube thing, but since it's April 2nd and um, there was rent striking that was happening today, I wanted to talk about it. Um, I'm very much in favor of the rent strike. Um, I know personally some of the organizers in my city and have helped to support them. Um, so let's start from the beginning. I think that we should rent strike because we don't have that kind of money, right? We as in the collective people don't have the money to be paying rent right now and it's ridiculous and unfair and inhuman to force us to make the back pay, right? So if you understand what's going on, you'd know that there is an eviction moratorium in almost every major city, right? Um, the city I'm in has one. New York, LA, Chicago, they have they have one on, they have an eviction moratorium. But <laughs> I'm seeing why people have scripts for these videos now. But when the eviction moratorium is over, all the back rent is due. So if you're watching this video and you're like, I don't really have that money, you know exactly what's going to happen. You don't have the money. Where are you going to pull four months rent out of, out of if you haven't been working? And making that rent back, well, you still have to pay the rent in the month. Like, it just doesn't work. It's not going to happen. It's unrealistic and it's inhuman. Um, so people are going on strike. We should have a rent freeze. We should, while this pandemic is happening and we can't work and we can't go outside and we can't generate the same amount of income, we shouldn't have to owe anything. So when I say we, um, I'm talking about like, just like the working class and the lower class and like people say working class and they like never say lower class and it's like, I don't know. The working people. It's like, what about poor people? I don't know. I think that's just a language thing, but. I know, like, like the Rent Strike 2020 account on Twitter has, like, 15,000 followers, which is not a ton, but it is a good amount. And, like, I do think a lot of people are going to do it. Um, And I hopefully, when the, as the strike continues to next month, that's when it's going to have a real effect. I am just really proud of everybody who is taking that step because the truth is going on strike like that is dangerous. Um, going, not paying your rent is grounds for eviction. So people are risking eviction, but the truth is they were going to get evicted anyway. So like, um, people are, it's, if you have a small landlord, it's probably easy to work with them. What I would recommend is writing an open letter to your landlord, getting as many tenants to sign it as you can and giving it to the landlord saying that we can't afford rent and we'd like to work with you. Like so try to work with your landlord first, especially if they're a smaller landlord. But if you have one of those landlords that's got a hundred fucking properties in your city that you know owns millions of dollars, gets mad cash revenue, their only job is being a landlord and they don't even maintain your building and they tell you to go fuck yourself every time you try to call for repairs, go on strike. You're not getting paid, so you shouldn't have to pay your rent. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, I, I know people are gonna ask me. Um, I am paying my rent because my landlord is one person who is a business owner so he actually has a job and doesn't just leech off of people. Can you tell that call me? Um, my landlord is a pretty good guy. And when we told him, you know, we might have trouble making rent because I'm not the only person who lives in my house. Um, one of my roommates works at a university, so her job was gone. She had to move out. Um, my other roommate also works in like events and gigs and stuff. Like, so that industry is gone, but he's still employed because his job like restructured. But not everybody can count on that. Um, I was unemployed anyway, so <laughs> I, I'm, there's no change in my situation, except now uh, I don't have school. 
Gotta love that camera quality. Um, uh, to continue talking about the rent strike, I just, I know people's common rebuttals to it are like, you signed an agreement with your landlord. Um, you can't just not pay rent. Like, people, people have a problem with it for a lot of reasons, but mostly just because they think that the system that we have is the only way that is possible to live. And my point and my whole philo philosophical outlook, um, which I might as well say now is pretty anarchistic, but like, I just think that the system that we live under is not a good one and we should try to change the system or abolish the system completely. I think that any form of hierarchy is inherently toxic. Um, and going on rent strike is the first step in having housing for all. Housing is a right. And not having, like, you know, predatory, predatory landlords who only exist to create class, essentially. Um, this is like a talk video, so I don't really have like sources, but I, if somebody, if somebody challenges me hard enough, like I will come back with a source to video, um, because I don't say anything in my life and definitely not on YouTube that I don't believe. Uh, I have thought about, you know, the possible ramifications of rent strike, you know, one being that landlords who are maybe not horrible, evil corporate douchebags and maybe more like only own five units or something small like that they won't be able to pay their mortgage um part of rent strike is freezing mortgage payments you shouldn't have to pay your mortgage either you can't afford it right now where's your money where's your job where's your job if you don't have a job like if you have like where's your your your, your renters are your income right they don't have that money so you don't have your income you shouldn't force them to pay your income. You should turn around. You should join them. You should band together with community solidarity. Hello, love your neighbors. And you should like turn around and say, we want mortgage freezing. We want rent freezing. And we want, you know, we want rights together. Um, We want healthcare for all. Like just, if you're a landlord, just join with, join up with your tenants. That's the real shit. Like, that's the real shit. Solidarity is important. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I feel so stupid saying that. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> and go on rent strike. This is the 20th century.